don't you don't get to pick over me for years and years and years and then be like now i'm gonna tell her how i feel are you dumb are you dumb Welcome to Blocktober Day 24. So I just want to talk about how they be they know your worth. They they already know your worth. They really just be hoping that you don't know your worth. When I tell you, this is the same person that I'm talking about the other video. I just want to elaborate. When I tell you, hearing somebody come to you and tell you something that you already knew because they was already showing it, you could already tell. But having them verbalize to you something that you already knew at such a late place in 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 time is so disrespectful and it's an insult this is orange juice and sirac what she told me was uh, all people drink like this i said well, God, <laughs> it's what it is because i like it so when you come to somebody it for me i feel like it's the equivalent of saying like now that i don't have no legs i see that you're the one for me you're the one that's already been around it's like when you spent all those years 15 plus years standing on your tippy toes so that you could look over me and then now that you're older i feel like now that you're older now that you see that you gotta pay to play now that you see that um things ain't really popping for you the way they might have been popping for you in the past now that you see all your friends done got married all your friends done settled down now now that's what you want when in the past we was both on the same thing i don't i don't believe in marriage for me i don't want i don't want marriage for me it's not even the first time i've had this like oh candle y'all we ain't even gonna talk about it wild rose and smoke we'll talk about it for a second um i've had people talk talk about marriage with me and it's just it's not something it's not something that i desire for myself it's just mine so it is not a selling point for me is not a selling point for me for me it's a bit of a turn off because now i see there is a, a conflict of interest and i definitely never want you should never want nobody to be with you and you know that y'all look at things a little differently like if you don't want no kids but they want kids it's like you shouldn't be with nobody that wants something opposite than what you want especially when you think about long term so just like sorry you waited all this time to say anything to me about this things that i already knew ways that you was already behaving but not really because it was a lot of shit that he was doing and it was just like this ain't love and i still feel like it's like sideways love it's like sideways love i feel like a lot of men i even gonna say men a lot of people in general they feel like once you have love for them like once you feel like oh i'm in love with you then it always stays that way i feel like you always care about that person but that love that in love feeling that desire to be with that person it will dwindle and die and go away and then it's just like, nah, I don't want that no more. I, I wanted it in the past, but in the past, you ain't want to give it to me. So now I don't want it no more. So like, that's where I am now. It's like, um, you waited until like literally the last minute when you went, you went and tried to build with other people. I was doing me. I, I had a baby. I had a baby. I was, I was doing me as well. We was both doing each other, so doing ourselves. So I'm just like. That would have been the time to say something. That would have been the time to say like, you know, and, and I feel like even then it would have been too long. But you had a better chance then than now. That's for sure. So I just felt like, I felt like he came to me at a time where it was convenient for him. It was okay, well, I'm done um, building with all these other people because that didn't, that didn't work out. But you, you, good old trusty Candace, Still here hanging around, even if it's just for a friendship, even if it's just to send a shot. And my definition of friendship is different from a lot of people's definition. He was he's more like an acquaintance, like an associate, to be honest. It's, it's somebody that you could you could chill and kick it with y'all talk about like little petty stuff, but nothing with um any real um substance to it. That was cool with me. That was cool with me. But it's just like you wanted to wait and then you came to me with all of these feelings and all of these emotions and I felt like I should have it's parts of me that's like was you a little bit too hard on him but I feel like I wasn't I, I never like I never well I didn't feel like I was being disrespectful I didn't feel like I was being disrespectful I felt like I was voicing the way that I felt and he's like well you sound you're you're talking to me mean it's like no you want you want me to not tell you about the reasons why i'm insulted that you coming to me with this now you want me to just live in the moment and accept all of the things that you're saying right now when it's a no 
Don't apologize to me for stuff that when I told you about it, you said on the phone or you said in my face like crickets. Didn't even respond. Don't then apologize for the things now because you feel like this is the time for me to be accountable. When you have plenty of time to be accountable. I've never been the type of woman to bite my tongue. And I don't like men who bite their tongue with women. If you have a problem with something, you should voice it. I, I need it to be understood what I will and will not accept. So he was bringing up a lot of stuff like, well, yeah, you used to tell me this, you used to tell me that. When I was younger, I was doing me. I was doing me when when I was when I was young having fun I was I was doing me so yeah I was I was a little rough around the edges I was I'm not I'm not the person that I am now but I feel like even that he's not able to see the person that I am now because I don't be around him so he still looks at me as like that same Candace from back in the day they know your worth but they know that you don't know your worth that's why they do the things that they do so if you'll stick around and let somebody keep doing shit to you, then they're going to keep doing shit to you. With my situation, it was a physical relationship. It was a physical relationship that turned into nothing. But for him, in his words, it was like, a, I've always been secretly loving you. Okay, but you was, you was out here before, before I had a kid. You was out here building with other bitches, moving motherfuckers in, trying to find somebody that you could be with, that you could marry, that you could do all of the things that now you want to come to me and tell me that you want to do with me. It's a no. It's a no. It is a no. It's a no. Because now I'm like, you're choosing me last. When it, it should have never been a choice. It should have been, that, that, that's her right there. That's her right there. So you don't, you don't get to pick over me for years and years and years and then be like, now I'm going to tell her how I feel. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I told the man, I said, you don't even know. You don't even know my middle name. I've known you for almost 22 years. You don't even know my middle name. You don't even know my favorite color. You don't even know things that I like, things that I don't like. You don't, you don't know. You don't know nothing about nothing that has anything to do with me because we were always only physical. And even when the physical was gone, we would sit, I would come to the house, we would chill, talk about bullshit. Nothing where you would get to know somebody. You don't know anything about me. Anybody who you've been messing with for 22 years on a physical and they don't really know nothing about you, trust and believe. The part... Y'all, it's an understanding that this is just physical. So I was very taken aback when all of the conversation came out about love. Because I'm like, I thought all this time we were just strictly physical. I never, I chose to not know nothing about you because I didn't fucking care. I didn't care because that's not what you were here for. You were here for your physical presence. So that's what I wanted from you. I didn't want um, a relationship. When I when I thought I wanted the relationship, I brought it to him. It, he was like, nope, not now. When he wanted a relationship, he brought it to me. And I was like, nope, nope, not right now. So I thought that we were on the same page. But apparently it's been like this secret love in his mind. And it just is so super mind blowing. I'm like, these men, they really know. And women, because women do uh, crazy stuff to men too. They know your worth. They know... Who you are and I feel like you shouldn't even take it as even though I look at it like that but you shouldn't even necessarily take it as okay well he's choosing me less I feel like they know who they feel like is gonna stick around and what he thought was happening was he thought I'm assuming that I was sitting around waiting for him to see my worth when the fuck I wasn't I was living my life and when I wanted to be broke off, when I wasn't in a relationship, I hit him up. That's what it was. I wasn't sitting around like, maybe this year. It wasn't that at all. And so I'm like, did you think that... Did you think that this was going to be a successful conversation in your head? Do you think that I don't know my work? You was a... You was a you were a fun time. That's what we were for one another. But I'm, I would never, I would never like be with somebody who after years, I just, I couldn't. First of all, I, I, I don't, I don't, I couldn't be with nobody that I, I had a physical relationship, a, a strictly physical relationship with that long. Because it's literally like you're learning a stranger now because you don't know nothing about me. So I've been around but you don't know anything about me. I would rather start up with a brand new person. 
than to start over with somebody than to actually literally start over with somebody that that i already it's like no I, let me if i'm gonna start from scratch let me start from scratch i don't even know what it's called when you've known somebody for like that long and you don't know shit about them i feel like that in itself showed how true to form our relationship was so i'm just like if you're in a physical relationship with somebody, leave it physical. If y'all decide that y'all want to have a relationship, do that early on. Do that early on so, so you, don't run into, you don't run into nobody with a mind frame like me. Like, uh, that was 15 years ago when I wanted you. I don't want you no more. I don't want none of it. I don't want the physical. I don't want none of it. So it's like, if you're going to get it together, get it together quick. Get it together quick. It's it's a lot of people who wait to let off. Like you need to be secure and understand what you actually want in life. There was a time when he was very much so against marriage. Very much so against marriage. Now he want to get married. Now he wants to be married. And he's like, a, you'll never leave me. We'll get counseling. We'll do this. We'll do that. I'm like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tell me I'm scary because I ain't want to marry him. Mm, okay. Well, boo. Like, okay. And I feel like if anybody wait that long to try to make a commitment to you, don't don't feel special. Don't. Don't. They they knew, they always knew who you were, but they just didn't want you to be that person for them. So it's not about the fact that they didn't know your worth. They knew your worth. They just, you wasn't worth it to them. And that's fine. Everybody is not for everybody. So you will find people that will... Be like, okay, well, you are a good woman, but you're not the type of woman that I want for me. But then you have some that's like, you're not the type of woman that I want for me, but I'm going to settle because I'm older now and I'm tired of looking and you got the same phone number.